Empty bottles, old license plates, books, and lunch boxes. Otherwise, ordinary objects here are treated like gold. Like archaeologists, collectors are on the hunt for artifacts from another time, sometimes an era long past. Why all the trouble over trinkets? One vendor says for an old friend who bought toy trucks from him, it was much more than that. He always wanted it as a kid, but he couldn't afford to buy it. And he had his own construction company at the time, so now he can afford it. He, they're his toys. Basically, that's what most people here are doing. They're buying their toys. You know? Aubrey and his brother Kenny started the nostalgia show over 25 years ago. But as time goes on, so do habits and fads. It's changed over the years because it's kind of changed with the times, you know. It was probably more advertising, more collectibles, automotive and these sort of things. And if you look around now, you'll see a lot of G.I. Joes, comics and things like that. So it's, it's going for a younger crowd sort of thing. And that's probably where it should go. Different things for a younger generation. We find things from our childhood and that remind us of our childhood. And yeah, that's true, because we have seen a lot of stuff like in the booths are like, oh, we remember that. But not everything. Um, uh, most, most things we don't know. Aubrey worries about the next generation of collectors, that it won't be the same experience. So many things now ephemeral. I don't know what younger people are going to collect in 10 or 20 years from now because everything is so wired, right? Everything is, if, if you can't, if you can't hold it in your hand anymore, you can't download it, you don't want it. And that's one of the reasons so many people come out here every year. They're looking for childhood memories, a taste of home, or maybe just something familiar in a world that's always changing. Kyle Duggan, CJTV News, Ottawa.